Okay. As I was showing you, uh, I'd like to show you how what I have written here. You see, in this my document schedule in our folder, I have these two files, which is the dot .pat file and the schedule code R, which uh, I want to run at a specified time of day. If you want to open it, if you want, if you open it and not very see, I have written this code in the dot .pat file. Mm. Uh, what I'm telling is to run this R, uh, rscript.exe and with this program, run this code and that's it. So this is how you write the code. I'll share the code as a separate link in the video so that it is easy for you to copy and paste and get your code to run automatically as well. Schedule code dot R I'd like to show you if it's possible. It'll be difficult. Okay, I'll show it later. I've already shown you actually. So yeah. Uh, now go to Windows and find Windows Task Scheduler. Yeah, there you go. Task Scheduler, next to that. Create basic task. Click on the create basic task. Name it something and decide. You can describe what it is about. Okay, now you tell me when do you want the task to start? Daily, weekly, monthly, one time. When the computer starts, when I log on, when a specific event is logged. There are so many uh, available options. For the sake of this video, I'll write it, uh, run it one time. And now, the start time, uh, you need to specify. So if it, so, it's 26th of November, it's 1.11. I'll set it to um, 1.12, yep, or, yep, that should do. So that we can see in the video that it ran, ran successfully. Start a program. What the program is? Okay. Program or script. Here it is. In this folder, you go to this folder and tell run this batch file. Simple as that. And then you click next and finish. So let's see. If it at one twelve twenty one, the scheduled task runs. See, something is running, and the echo off. We wrote echo off, so we didn't see what code ran. How do you know that it ran? Let's go to the folder. You see, I in my code in the R code, I told to write a simple uh, data frame. In the CSV file, let's open it. See, the code has been written here. So we know that it actually ran at that specific time, which is set in the Windows Star Scheduler. That's as simple as that. This this gets. Uh, this is how we can uh, make an entire R script uh, to run automatically. Uh, I want to show an important aspect of uh, other R script exe location that you need to uh, write in your batch file. Let me show you again. See here, not this one. Uh, I'm telling, start this program. So how did I get this location of the program? It's very important. You need to know where your R script.exe is. So if you go to, if you open the folder here, You need to go to C drive, program files. So in my case, it was R. What was the location again? All right, program files. And go to R, where you are program is installed and then this is my and then you need to go to the beam okay 
you see the location bin and then x64 so 64 bit for x64 64 bit OS here rskip.exe is located so since i have a 64 bit operating system I'm, i've gone to x64 in the bin folder and you see rskip.exe so what happens is actually windows star scheduler runs this program not your r studio or something of an ID or something like that it runs this program and then this program is able to run the r code and then everything gets got automated you need to locate this folder it's very easy it should be available in the under the program files or wherever you have installed your r and within the r folders uh, you go to the bin if it is 64 bit then you go to 64 bit os and then uh, find this rscape.exe uh, and then this location needs to be copied so you copy it and you put it on your notepad here that's how you do, uh, get where to find this rscape.exe thanks for watching you should be able to do it yourself now i have told you how, what is the t-step process and i've also showed you how this uh, automation runs. In case you are finding it difficult to understand, let me know. I'll try to explain it again. Thanks for watching my video.